everyone, Wes here. I wanted to chat about using Flexbox and Forms together. Uh, I was on the Airbnb website the other day and they got this really nice little simple bar that you can use. So it's got a place where you can search where you want, how you can check in, check out, select the number of guests and hit your search button. So uh, I thought that'd be kind of neat to, to recreate. We could have done this with floats and, and widths and stuff like that. However, um, it's nice to be able to throw your forms, a whole bunch of inputs and have them just kind of perfectly fit together without having to worry about how wide are things and things like that. So uh, I've got this sort of demo up and running. Um, it might not work perfectly on all the other browsers, but uh, the parts that might not work are just the video and the, the input type of date. That's really not to matter. Um, we're more worried about getting these actual kind of alignment things up and running. So uh, I grabbed this video from Cover. If you've never checked out Cover, it's cover.co. Awesome little website where they give you uh, just free auto playing uh, you videos. So um, I've got this as answer. It's what we're going to be building, but I'm going to change it to just where we're starting off. So here we go. This is kind of where we, uh, we start off. We've got our inputs. They're not all the same sizes. They are kind of a little bit weird and we've got all these this is called like a ghost space because inputs are in line by default they'll just put some space in between which can be a bit of a pain when you're trying to align them all so uh html what does that look like we got a div with a class of cover and that is set to just kind of span the entire browser it's 100 vh and 100 vw each way uh, then I got a form with the class of flex form and inside of that I've got my inputs my labels my drop downs and sort of everything that I've, I would need so uh, Let's get up and running with that jump into style.css And we are going to go ahead and start with our flex box. The first thing I want to do um, Is to actually get this form here center. So I want it both vertically center and horizontally center so uh, we'll select dot cover which is uh, again, that's the whole thing. And we'll set it to flex. So I flex, give that a save. And uh, it doesn't do too much just because we really only have one item inside of it. But we can use Flexbox to align it both horizontally as well as vertically. So first, let's do the horizontal. And if we want to horizontally center something that is on our main axis, which is left to right. Uh, and for that, we can use justify content center and make sure you spell it right. Give it a save and bam, there we go. Our form is now centered left to right. Uh, and then we want it to also vertically be centered in the middle of this cover div. Uh, so we'll, for that, we'll use a line items center and there we go it's perfectly centered bam right inside in the middle of the browser um, and that's great so we'll move on from cover onto the actual form itself so uh, this is a flex item right now but we're, again we're going to do the same thing what we did in previous videos is also make it a flex container so go ahead and select it and we will say uh, display flex and what that does for us is it makes it flexible. And the cool thing about that right away by saying display flex, what happens? Well, it starts to look a lot better because it takes everything. Now that flex form is a flex container, the input, the label, the input, the label, the input, the select and the input, those are all of our flex items. And by default, it's going to stretch it across it's going to evenly make all of these things the exact same size for us, which is fantastic to you to do. Um, <clears throat> what else do we need to do on there? Um, we'll put a quick border on it. So border 20px solid RGBA. Put a border radius on it. Something like 5px and all right, that's looking good to me. Uh, so that's pretty much it so far. Um, but we just got the, the issue of this one input right here not being big enough. Um, that's sort of just the default size that we have. And uh, before you reach for your width in CSS, let's actually go ahead and select it and use our flex basis. So uh, how do we select that one? It looks like it's an input with the 
type of search. So we can go down here and say input with the type of search and we'll say flex basis is set to, I don't know, 500 PX. Let's see. So ideally in an ideal world, we'd have that input as a 500 PX. So refresh and we're off to the races. So that, that seemed really easy. This is a pretty short video. Really all we did is one, two, three, four, five different Flexbox or six different Flexbox uh, properties. And that's kind of the beauty of Flexbox is that when you actually know what you're doing with all these different properties, you can quickly slap something together, which previously might take a lot of math and uh, a lot of manual alignment. All right, I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.